<sighs> well, I'm kind of upset today. I really am. With our president, of course, when ain't I? A man died overseas. A reporter got the video. I imagine so many of you have watched it, even to the end, where he got his head cut off and head set down on his body. What was the president? Did he get disgusted? Was he outraged by this group of terrorists? that is growing over there? Was he outraged that an American was beheaded by these these evil, evil, demonistic people? And the one that did it was an Englishman? <sighs> Disgusting. Disgusting evil people have become. Well, I am sure the guy that beheaded the, the reporter taking his life, probably laughing up with the ISIS people, pieces of crap. That's what they are. They are the trash, the dung of this earth. They are the dung of this earth that the Bible speaks of so much. And our president just turns around, walks back off, and plays some more golf. You know, I, 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 I've never played golf. But I've played other things. I've played basketball and stuff like that and be in the game. But if I was president and one of my people of my country, who I am president of, was beheaded by this outlandish, evil, terrorist, growing group, I would have thrown down my golf club, walked in there, and went back to the White House and called all my generals. I called everybody and said, what? can we do about this? What should we do about this? They've killed American. They same as declared war on America by killing this American. What will we do? What can we do to exterminate this rodent from the face of the earth? That's how I feel. Oh, I know I've got one that I have a person that writes and tells me that they love Islam and Allah and stuff. You, honey, you're wasting your time with me. I will never turn to Islam. I'll never worship Allah, Satan himself. I will never. You may love Islam. You may love Allah. You've sold your soul to Satan. I can't help it. But I'll never, ever, 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 ever turn to Islam. Even if it meant I had to have my head cut off. I know, do I want to have it? No, I don't. I don't think any logical person wants to die that way. But if that would be need be, I'd need go. Because I'd go right home. Let me tell you where I'd go as soon as my head left my body. Jesus Christ, the Son of the one true God, Yahweh, not some ridiculous Allah, would be waiting there to take me in his arms and bring me home to my Father. Oh, I tell you, the glorious meeting I would have with him. That's where I would go. That's where I would go. I hope this reporter was saved and had his heart right with God. And I pray that the minute that head, that that idiot 
was sawn on his neck to cut his head off, that his spirit left and went into the arms of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and was escorted to heaven, while you, the one that did it, will stand before God on Judgment Day, and your soul will be cast in hell. It will be. And now you're threatening to kill another American? You got more over there you're threatening to kill? I pray for those. I pray that they get their souls right with God. I pray, I pray earnestly that they are prepared for death. And that they will become the glorious mar martyrs for Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Every time you, when you cut that man's head off, he become a martyr for Jesus Christ. He did. And for, for doing that, you will pay the price. You will pay the price. And am I disgusted with our president? Yes, I am. Is this what it means when if if they come over here, if they really come over here like they say they are, and there's some of them's already here. Yeah, they're already here. What will you do, Mr. President, when they come and behead somebody here in the United States and put it on video like they did over there? I'm upset with our government. I love America, but I'm getting to the point I'm sick of our government. I'll be so glad when President Obama's out of office and gone. And I pray that we have sense enough to vote a man or a, a woman, which I hope it ain't Hillary Clinton, because she ain't no better, into office that will really be concerned about America and American people. And we'll protect them at all cost. This vermin over there in Iraq needs to be stomped out. Totally. Wiped off the face of the earth. That none of their seed will be able to be spread across this earth. Ever. Ever. All you other Arab people that believe in Islam... Is letting this go on but these guys they don't love you either if you don't join them then they're against you too they've killed many of you already and they're going after the Christian ones they are an evil evil e look at how they dress totally black Satan's army upon earth here now Satan's army here now on earth taking innocent people's lives innocent people's lives no thank you bye um someone trying to sell me something that's how i handle that i don't even get in conversation <laughs> with them but anyway We here in America have a president that is a Muslim. So why should he care that a Muslim ISIS person cut off this man's head? He enjoys playing golf and humoring himself and making himself feel good more than he does America. People out here that are in distress and some overseas more could die the very same way very same way this reporter wasn't the first reporter that died like this it's a shame it's a shame that our president is as worthless as he can be worthless 
I think he's the most worthless and disgusting president so far we've ever had. Ever. Has nothing to do with his color, honey. It has what he's doing as a president. And he's not doing nothing but bringing America into bondage. Over and over again. Bondage. Tying us down taking our rights away from us, breaking the Constitution of the United States, ripping it apart. The very thing that he soar to keep, he, he's not keeping, he's destroying it. He's taking all of our rights away from us. He's putting us in chains and bonding us down to where we can't do nothing. Oh yeah, someday I could be arrested for speaking on Facebook the way I'm speaking. But so be it. I am going to tell the truth. I'm a watchman on a wall. And I'm telling you, bad things are coming down. Bad things here in America. If we keep letting this president get by with the nonsense he's getting by with. It's a shame. It's a shame. America has become a shame of the world because the president that we are... I didn't. I didn't vote for him. But everybody else seemed to have voted this ignorant man in. They don't even like America. Wasn't even really born in America. His dad was a Muslim. Hated America. Raised in that tent. Why should he like America? Why should he love America? He's a Muslim. He's born over there. He was raised by them. Beware, people. Get your heart right with God. The only one that's my protector is Jesus Christ. And I know when I leave this earth, this, this veil of round this earth and enter into the glorious paradise with my Jesus my friend, my brother, the Savior, the Messiah, and enter to the gates of heaven, then I will be set free. I will be set free then. But right now I'm in the bondage of this flesh, and my president is putting us all more in bondage. Trying to take our guns away from us, take our freedom of speech away from us, put America in so much bondage that if 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 ISIS did walk over, they just walk over and take us over. It's like a prelude of getting everything set up legally so it could happen. People understand what's going on. We need to pray for America. Really, really pray for America. Do you love your children? Pray for America. This is their country. This is what they're going to grow up in. Are they going to grow up with the freedom of worshiping Jesus Christ as their Messiah, the one that died on the cross with them? Or are they going to be grow up in a country that will turn to total Islam and not be able to allow to speak anything religious and if you are you'll be taken out in the town square and beheaded before everybody do you want your children to be raised in that kind of mess sending their souls to hell you need to start praying for America because she's going down people she's going down and that president we have up there in the White House is helping do it. So, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm, I'm really upset about the reporter that got killed and the way he got killed. How would you like to be kneeling out there and some blowhard blowing off telling how you're going to die in just a few minutes.
How would you like that? How would you like that? You wouldn't, would you? Would you? I know I wouldn't like it. But if you're under their government, there's nothing you could do. Nothing you can do. You either die for your faith, sell your soul to Satan. Your choice. Your choice. But yes, I'm upset with my president. Because he's sitting back and not, he's not wanting to do anything. Yeah, I don't want to have to go back in there and fight another war and over in Iraq and wipe out all those crazy idiots over there that's got all of our material that we left there. And the Iraqis was too, too foolish and too scared to fight them with it. We left them in the lurch. We left the door wide open for these criminals, these terrorists to walk in. We left it wide open, people. We did. We pulled out too soon and not in the proper way. But here, that's my rant for today on the government. But I do earnestly ask you to pray, really pray. Because it could get seriously bad. 